Across the world, Toyota has some of the best body-on-frame pickup trucks. There's the Hilux, and then in America, we have the Tacoma and the Tundra. But ever since Ford introduced a unibody pickup truck, the Maverick, into the market, they've essentially had it to themselves. Yes, Hyundai came in with the Santa Cruz, but the hype over the Santa Cruz isn't anywhere near where the hybrid Maverick is. Fans of Toyota pickup trucks have been asking the last couple of years since the Maverick came in, and probably even before since the Tacoma and the Tundra have just gotten so massive compared to where they used to be. People have been asking for a tiny Toyota pickup truck to come to the market, to be an answer for the Maverick, to have a Toyota competitor to the Santa Cruz and the Maverick. And we all know Toyota can make a better hybrid than Ford if they wanted to. Hype went to an all new level last year when the Stout nameplate got trademarked once again. I think that was in Argentina and it spread like wildfire. The Stout would come back as the entry level pickup truck for Toyota. But we need to put some water on these hype flames because I have bad news for you guys today. If you guys want a tiny Toyota pickup truck to re-enter the market, to kind of be that either single cab or extended cab version of the Toyota pickup truck or the like the first or second generation Tacoma, if you want that sort of pickup truck back in the United States, smash the heck out of the like button and make sure you subscribe. I am heading to Japan next month for the Tokyo Mobility Show. They're going to show all sorts of cool stuff like the Century SUV. I mean, I'll see a Hilux there, I'm sure, um, as well as tons of other products, the Crown lineup. Maybe we'll have some new uh, concept reveals from the Toyota and Lexus lineup as well. And then, of course, I'm going to show all the other manufacturers, Honda, Nissan, Mazda, Subaru, Isuzu, Suzuki, the Jimny. Oh, yeah. All that good stuff. I'll share it with you guys. But let's get into the news here from Automotive News. Um, dealers are <laughs> wanting this pickup truck. There is a big dealer meeting happening the 12th through the 14th of September. This time of this recording, it's this week. So in just a couple of days from now, it's happening in Vegas. What they do at these dealer meetings, well, they tell them what products are coming. They tell them or even show them oftentimes the model, like what is it actually going to look like? They, uh, I think last year, in the past couple of years, they've showed the Tundra before anyone else. They've had the Lexus GX there in the past. Um, they had the Land Cruiser there in the past as well. So, like, there's a lot of stuff they're going to be showing dealers. My, I mean, maybe the new Camry could be there. Maybe if we're lucky, the uh, the Crown SUV will be shown to dealers as well. Who who knows? Who knows what they're really going to show? Maybe even a sneak peek at the next generation. Uh, for, uh, RAV4 would be pretty cool. And maybe in the forerunner, right? We're all waiting for these Toyota products. They got so many options out there. So anyways, that's a lot of stuff that could be happening in Vegas. We might get some leaks trickling out. The dealers are, well, there's a lot of them. And we know dealers, they like to talk. They have that sweet talking voice, right? To sweeten those deals at the dealership. So they might be talking a bit about what they see behind closed doors. So stay tuned. If I hear anything, maybe I'll kind of sprinkle it in to the channel. But let's get back onto what's going on here. So the dealers are wanting a small compact pickup truck that would be a Ford Maverick fighter. That's going into this week. So quoting Toyota's brand head, Dave Christ, who I actually had dinner right next to uh, at the Land Cruiser event. Um, we were sitting at the same table. Uh, and he was also there to reveal the Tacoma before it got leaked, but that was in Hawaii. So I've seen him a couple times in the past year. Anyways, he's saying, we obviously watched Maverick closely. He told Automotive News ahead of this week's dealer meeting. If you think about our pickup trucks, they've gotten bigger over the years. Obviously, you know, when you see in our lobby at the headquarters in Plano, he's talking about, we have on display of the old and the new, we have the original T100 next to the new Tundra. And it is pretty much underscored how much bigger that product is today. The, the Tacoma is bigger than the old T100. The Tundra is this monster truck. And then where's the original Toyota pickup truck? Where's the original Tacoma? It is, I mean, it's it's a part of our memories. There's nothing anywhere close to that size of pickup truck offered by Toyota. It's offered by maybe Hyundai. I feel like the Santa Cruz is a little bit bigger than the Maverick, but the Maverick kind of has that tiny pickup truck market in its grasp. So this guy on the left, his name is Steve Gates. He's a current chairman of the Toyota National Dealer Council at one of his stores because he owns Toyota and Ford stores. He says, we're absolutely sold out of the Maverick and we're sold out as far as we can possibly see. 
and it hasn't affected our Ranger or F-150 sales one bit. He goes on to say the quality small truck is in Toyota's DNA. We hear about it all the time, several times a week, stories of people who had older Toyota trunks before these trucks even had a name, meaning the Toyota pickup truck and the T-100, and they long, those same people are longing for another small Toyota truck. He thinks the volume opportunity is huge without affecting Tacoma and Tundra sales. I absolutely agree with that. He sees that at his Ford store and we know any toy doesn't have any problem selling any of their models. The demand for them is enormous, even though uh, their, their production volume is at an all time high this year. It's just that they've had three years of shortened availability of products because they were had shortened production uh, due to COVID and the chip supply issues. So there's still about a million vehicles that they're behind to, sash, to satiate the market and waiting customers, in my opinion. Danny Wilson, a dealer principal at Wilson Toyota in Ames, Iowa. Sorry, the Cyclones lost to the Hawkeyes yesterday. It was a close game. I always root for the Cyclones in that match. Wilson says, I think with the new platforms, the way they're doing production, with the way it's set up, they can turn the faucet up and down to get it where it needs to be from a manufacturing standpoint. If it's on the same platform as the Corolla Sedan and Corolla Cross, crossover. Okay. Yeah. They could build this in two areas. Uh, if this is based off the C platform, they could build it in Alabama where they build the Corolla cross alongside uh, the Mazda CX 50. There's a ton of production room there. They just don't have enough workers to build anything there. Uh, volume, I think on the CX 50 is actually down this year or it's starting to go down compared to what was last year. It's a mess. Anyways, uh, they could also build it in the Mississippi plant where they build the Corolla sedan. I think the, the volume, you know, they'd have to expand the production lines there to do that. But it is possible Toyota can make it happen if they wanted to. Going back to Dave Chris, he has acknowledged that Toyota dealers have been asking for a compact pickup truck for a while and that fielding such a product would assist Toyota's corporate average fuel economy or cafe ratings. But here is the dagger. Here is the terrible news. Here is why we should cool all expectations on another Toyota pickup truck for the North American market. Here it is. All right. Let's bring us down to reality here. We don't have anything planned, Chris said. We're not announcing anything to the dealers. I haven't even said yet because that would suggest it's coming. But certainly it's something we've looked at. So Toyota, you're absolutely swinging and missing here. This opportunity, it's, it's like the market is offering them a lob pitch. Or, or better yet, the market is offering them the ball sitting on the tee waiting to be smashed and Toyota's just looking at it and saying, like, yeah, okay, you know, we, we could, we could, you know, people would probably like that, but they're not doing anything about it. So don't get your hopes up for a Toyota Stout or a, a tiny Maverick pickup truck. Could it come? Absolutely. It could still come, but it takes Toyota five, six years to go from uh, concept and just talking about it to the product coming out on the market. Could, could they actually be further along? They're just not ready to say anything? I guess. I guess that's a possibility. I feel like I don't have to interpret it much here. He said, we have nothing planned. We have nothing planned. So we're at least five years out from anything like this happening. And if it does happen, maybe it's not even a hybrid at that point. Maybe it's battery electric and that people are not going to be happy about that. I, in my opinion, I think it would have, I mean, it's possible. I mean, they would definitely have some success with it, but um, that would limit its road trip ability. That would limit its usability. So yeah, I think it needs to be hybrid. It needs to have around 200 to 240 horsepower. It needs to have around 40 miles per gallon, E all wheel drive, um, and maybe a manual and a non-hybrid version. That'd be pretty cool as well. Four doors would be excellent to, to go against the, the Maverick and uh, the Santa Cruz. So I hate to bring you guys the bad news today, but so many of you have been asking me, hey, what's going on with the Stout? Always make videos on the Stout. Well, that's what we're calling it because it's just easier to say it in, instead of like small, tiny, compact Maverick fighting pickup truck that's a hybrid. We just call it the Stout. Hate to break it to you guys. I'm so sorry that if you had any hopes, dreams, aspirations to own a Toyota competitor to the Maverick, doesn't look like it's coming anytime soon. I hope next time I have a Toyota video for you guys, it's much better news than this. Uh, and yeah, stay tuned. Like I said, heading to Japan, I'm driving the Lexus TX pretty soon. I'm driving the Tacoma this fall. Um, there's going to be new stuff revealed at the LA auto show for not only Toyota, 
but for the rest of the manufacturers that I cover here on this channel. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the comments talk about the Toyota Stout compact pickup truck that Toyota could destroy the market with, but it's not in the cards yet, my friends. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day and peace.